able to give them information and instruction and show them as a guidepost of, of what success looks like? Success, man. I think uh, first and foremost, I always will tell a young person that um, that's defined by you, right? There's no one rubric for that. Uh, but always encouraging them to be their best selves, you know, and uh, now we don't tell kids what to do. You know, we structure the, the way that we challenge them, uh, asking them consider, man, have you ever considered, you know, um, and a lot of times the kids know they just want you to pull it out of them. And it truly starts with our four cornerstones, Mike, which are love, consistency, opportunity, and exposure. Uh, but I will say this, next year will be five years of us doing this community driven work, right? Right here, grassroots level in Raleigh, North Carolina, serving young men ages seven to 17 through those four cornerstones. I, oftentimes when we speak with our leadership team and, and our board, we think so on a macro level, like, hey, we took them to DC, we exposed them to this. And when we get the feedback, I, I'll never forget uh, uh, one of our star youth, man, I love this kid, Cartier Stuckey. He's graduating from high school this year going on to Fayetteville State to study dental hygiene. Uh, we've been blessed to be able to now present him next week when he's in graduation with the big check scholarship, uh, MacBook, uh, and really help him springboard to his next level. Well, we were at a barbershop. Cartier has been with us since seventh grade, since he was in middle school. He's graduating high school this year. Um, he gave us us feedback and we asked him, hey, what are one of the memories? And I'm thinking this kid is about to say something granulous. Mm -hmm. You know what he tells me, Mike? He says, man, I'll never forget when Mr. Troy stood me in the corridor in my apartment. It was raining and I was going through a tough day. And he showed up at the door and knocked on the door and he sat there and talked to me for two hours. You know, he said I was in a tough time. I was in a dark place and he didn't even know it. He was talking about me and I'm in the room. Man, I promise you my eyes started watering, man. It's one of them Jerry Maguire moments. Yeah, you know, yeah, start crying yeah. up in here. Hey, man. All the pump came out of me, man. All exactly. the came out of me, it, right? yeah. You know, because a lot of times people don't realize you, that day, you're thinking it's the trips. You're thinking all those things. You changed the course of somebody's life that day. And it was just a regular day for you. You know, it's just like, all right, let me get go over to the crib, talk to them for a minute. Boom. All right, I got to do this after that. He looked back at that moment and said, "This dude changed my life." Yeah, yeah. you gave that's him a why. you gave him a faith in humanity. That's the why, bro. Like, and and as long as the culture stays that way and the purity of what we do stays that way, it will continue. 